I'm not sure of how you're looking at me right now. But the matter is this. I am first a woman, someone's daughter, someone's friend, someone's wife, and someone's mother. I don't have a skin tone if you were expecting that next. I'm transparent open-minded to the thoughts and the schemas that surround me. I work hard to meet goals and be productive in the world that I live in. My time is spent praying, thinking of how to resolve issues that have been created by those who choose to operate not in transparency, hiding behind masks and issues and idioms and disturbances and destructions. Destroying that which could be a truth, a reality to the beauty of life. Only if they could be transparent with themselves, erase some doubt and even strife and to see the vast array of translucent hues on the palette of life and just live. Live without slinging of negative vibes and words that bounce against the walls of peace, resounding frustration, tensions, and death to the atmosphere. Only if they could see in transparency with me love and reflect on that positivity. Then joined, we could agree, somewhere out there, there must be harmony. It might sound funny coming from me, because you see, I have nothing to hide and nothing to lose by admitting my failures. You see, because I take control of my destiny. I rise. Living life free, no lies attached. And for that reason, I can love and do for others and give of myself I can even delete negative thoughts trying to implant themselves inside of me. I'm living in this place I call transparency, praying and hoping that we could multiply and take over, casting down imaginations that exalt themselves against the knowledge. Systems, classifications of structure, methods, and numbers, and organized conglomerations of coordinates woven together like fine fabric of intricate details, always moving toward tomorrow through the eyes of forwardness. Moving forward, moving forward, this way. Fully focused forward, operating from both the left and the right side of the system that he put within me called my brain. My organization station propelling me to receive honors of high degree no matter what the task for the in-depthness that I have about life and all that has to offer me. I am often asked, you do so much. What's your favorite? My favorite? My favorite? 
My favorite is life. Life is my favorite. It keeps me moving forward every day, living a new life daily. Life is my favorite. Life is my purpose. My life matters. I am fine fabric designed by the master designer. I am me, lover of the system of life. legacy. I see you strong. Only strong. I see you pressing on forward motion. Pressing up and out. Singing a victory song. Bountiful blessings accumulated from words of wisdom, prayers, and conversations of greatness spoken to your innermost ear. You have an ear to hear Legacy's voice calling you. You have an ear to hear Legacy's voice calling you to be great, triumphant, for all to see and follow. Your steps are hard to mimic, as they're not meant to be carbon copy, but manipulated with minor variances to enhance the original order, Legacy's order. In one's own unique way, you're moving with power, power like the force of a mighty wind. You spin. You spin into directions of unheard of stories and songs and revelations and only minor interruptions because you hear legacy's voice calling you. Leave an impact, a giant imprint on the world. Wasted time is not a part of your natural being because you have to nurture your legacy song. I hear legacy in your voice singing and speaking demonstrations of peace, joy, and resolutions of hope. Standards that lift up when your mouth speaks. You're speaking. I hear you speaking wisdom words. Words that you have received from the original 42 generations leading up to that holy night when all the world stood still, knowing the legacy the Christ had arrived. Yes, he has come, and he will live on and on through your legacy songs.